Hi guys, it's Christy Blake, and I had VSG surgery on June 19th, 2013. I had to write it down. <laughs> um, so that's almost three years out, uh, a little a few months shy of that, about three months shy of three, three years out. Um, I just wanted to make a quick video. I was kind of watching a few going through, like trying to clean up my, my storage, and I actually watched this one of me that I don't even know if I ever posted it. I should actually probably look it up, but I had Eye of the Tiger on and I had just hit Wonderland and I was all dancing. I'm like, did I really post this? How embarrassing. Um, anyways, so yeah, that it's so weird to watch videos of yourself like three, four, five months out, you're all, you're all losing weight, all excited. And now I'm like three years out and I'm like, damn gained another pound or you know some crap like that so anyways um I just want to make a video because I have a lot in my head um I know that I posted I think about a month or two ago about me starting this health challenge with some friends and it was really fun and um I did end up losing I think like 12 pounds um and I got down to, back down to 210 um I've gained a few pounds back I think I'm like 213 right now, um, which is just depressing in itself, but you know what, it's okay. I'm going to get through it, and I still love myself <laughs> somehow, I don't know. Um, actually, summer's coming, and my arms are looking a little jiggly, and I'm like, ah! <sighs> I've just been so stressed with work. I've been thinking about this like trifecta that you can only handle so many things at once, and usually it's just three things. So if you work full time then and you have kids and a husband, that's usually all you can handle. Um, if there's another thing involved, like you're volunteering or you're part of a different organization, your husband might get less time. Um, there's usually like a person that can only handle so much. So I have been working a ton because my husband is out of work right now and I haven't been able to work out. And I am sick about it. Like I am resenting my job. I'm. I work at home. I work right here at my desk in my living room. Sometimes my kids are watching TV. It's pretty interesting and horrible at the same time. But I do get to be at home, and I am thankful for that. Um, but that's a totally different story. So, just talking about this only handling so much. I can't handle. Like I can't focus on myself right now, and it's really hard. Um, so that's one thing that I'm working on is trying to figure out my priorities, where those lie. Um, but I was just watching this video about me hitting Wonderland at five months out uh, last time. And the first time, the only time that I did the journey. What's going on? What's going on here? Okay, sorry. I'm just getting crazy. Um, <laughs> what a difference in how you are three years out or five years out or even one year out like the struggles are so different um and this whole regain battle sucks and this video that i watched she i she i'm referring to myself i was talking about this girl laura that made this video about your sleeve stretching and how I thought that was like, is that true? Does that really happen? You know, I was like five months out newbie, like all excited about life, like all worried. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm confident that I won't regain and that I can maintain, you know, what I've learned. Oh my gosh, what a bunch of crap. Um, seriously, people, if you're new, watch videos of people three years out. See what they are talking about. The sleeve works because it tells it helps you lose weight and it teaches you what you should know and if you can keep up with that then you should be awesome but there are many 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 of us I'm gonna put myself in that category that still have a hard time like before we had surgery I still have to choose the right things to eat I still have to get my butt to the gym I still struggle with the same exact things that I did before. I don't know why I'm smiling about this, 
was just like a aha moment I had. Not that I haven't had it before, but tonight it just hit me like, do I regret having the surgery? No, I don't. Um, am I bummed that I didn't keep all the weight off? Yeah. Is it my fault? Yeah, it's totally my fault. Um, anyways, I just wanted to say that. I think for the rest of my life I'll struggle. I think when I had the surgery I was like, oh, this is going to solve all my problems. Like, I'm not going to be overweight anymore in my life. Like, no way. Like, I'll be awesome. Um, I've had a chance to listen to some people that had bypass. They've kept all their weight off, most of them. But there's a lot of bypass people that don't keep your weight off. So what is it, I'm asking the question to all of you, what is it that helps any peop any person that has had surgery, bypass, sleeve, whatever, I personally think the bypass people, it's a little easier. Their pouch stays smaller. But I don't know. I didn't have that surgery, so I don't know what struggles that they're dealing with. I'm pretty sure the same ones. But um, the bottom line is, it's a daily choice. Every day you have to get up and make the right choices. If you're not prepared to do that, don't have the surgery because you'll gain every step, a every pound back plus more. That is what I struggle with every day. Like I wake up, I have a shake, I don't go to the gym anymore because I have five conference calls from my desk here and I'm basically chained here all day. I don't even get to go outside. Well that's my own fault because I'm kind of a workaholic but you know basically you have to make those decisions and put yourself as a priority and if it's not going to fit in your life, if you, you as a priority is not going to fit in your life don't have the surgery because you really have to to maintain it. The surgery, I was watching another video where it says it's a forced lifestyle. Yeah, it's forced for like six months and then you can pretty much eat whatever you want. So all those food funerals I had before I had surgery, like bull crap. Like you can have the same food six months later. You know, it's just really a facade. I don't need, mean to come off here and like be negative because I am thankful I did it and the bottom line for me is I did learn to know what works and I do know exactly what to do. It's just doing it that's the problem. So it's all about making yourself a priority and disciplining and making those choices every day. That's my soapbox for this, this day and as soon as I'm done with all this work and deadlines and things like that this summer, I'm going to make myself a priority again. I can't make it any sooner because I have to provide for my family right now, but that's my plan. And you know, life happens and things change, but you know, I think as long as you just have that hope and, and keep going and every day is a new day, um, hopefully everyone can be successful. So, I don't even think that's why I got on here, like, to talk about. I think I was going to talk about something completely different. <laughs> but, that's where we're at. So, anyways, I hope you're all doing good, and I hope that all the peeps that had surgery around the time that I am had surgery are doing great. Um, I did want to talk about... Um, a support group I went to a week ago and it was awesome and I have a lot of information about that so I'll probably hopefully share that in the next video but unfortunately I'm out of time so um, I will make that video soon so thanks so much have a great day make good choices bye look I can't press stop there we go bye